I think what we're going to see very soon here is that um, you're essentially going to be have you're going to have different flavors of database that you can import with the URL. Um, the Dino KV is built right into Dino, and it it's like um, it's as Yang said, the foundational layer, the the storage layer, um, the thing that manages transactions, the thing that manages global replication and consistency. Um, but then on top of that, you can just import I don't know a um, let's say something that looks like Firestore or something that looks like MongoDB or maybe even something um, that looks like SQLite or something that looks like a, an, an SQL compatible database um, that is fundamentally backed by Dino KV, but on top of this exposes an API that is uh, like a, yeah, a, a different view that may be more higher level, um, which is yeah often useful for, for business use cases. I, I think the, the way we're imagining this to work is uh, this is not real code. This is not going to work, but um, I can show you the idea. Um, I don't know, import database from, I'm not going to put any URL here because otherwise people are going to try to use it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you could say, for example, you want a database and you want to provide a schema here. Like you want to have, these are all your tables. Um, or you want to have a user's table that has some fields um, where you might have an ID field and you might have a name field um, and, and so on and so forth. And then you can use this database um, to do things like, I don't know, database.users.get by ID, um, some ID. Um, and and do things that way. And this is like a, a more higher level API, um, but under the hood, it's still backed by the same um, Dino KV, the same foundation DB backing that, um, yeah, that Dino, that we exposed to Dino KV. 